Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. It's been so long since I have filmed a video But in today's video, I am going to be showing you how I do a bicep adjustment So a full bicep adjustment on Inkscape so that I can then Project onto fabric. So if you have no idea what any of that means, let me break it down. First of all bicep adjustment you know when you like try on a shirt and the arm is just like so tight, the sleeve, you know, you move it like this and it's so tight and it feels like it's going to pop? We're going to figure out how to fix that. When you normally have a pattern, like a paper pattern, you it's easy to make those adjustments. You just, you know, slash and spread. When we're working with Inkscape to project, it's a little bit different. When we have a projector for sewing, I'll link it below if you're not sure what I'm talking about, you kind of need to do things a little bit differently. So yes, you could project onto paper, make out the pattern piece, and then manually slash and spread it like you would a normal paper pattern, or you can do things digitally so you still eliminate that paper waste. That's what we're doing today. Now, I'm going to be using the method in this Singer book, The Perfect Fit. And it is the full upper arm adjustment. Now, I know there are different ways that you can do this. Other ones will, you know, use like a hinge point and stuff. But for digital manipulation, I found this one to be the best just because I don't know Inkscape. I don't know anything about like making patterns digitally. So I find that this is good because I'm able to cut at 90 degree angles and then shift things outward. So that's what we'll be doing today. And I actually have this muslin here that I made for um, my bud shacket. And the one arm you'll see has no adjustments made and then the other arm does have the pattern adjustment made to it. So you can kind of see the difference. And I actually also did this on my Seamwork Natalie shirt that I made as well. But with all that being said, let's get to the computer to see how I actually did the adjustment. All right, friends, time to fire up Inkscape. So this is the sleeve pattern that I'm working with. Again, sorry, I don't like to show full pattern pieces, but I needed it for the sake of this tutorial. So what I'm going to do, or what the first step is, I guess, is to measure your upper bicep where you, you know, where you want to be adding the room and then measure across your pattern to see how much you're going to want to add. I wanted to add about an inch across the fullest part of my bicep. And that's going to be kind of where this curve is, right? Imagine that those parts at the end of the curve there, those where they come out, those are your armpits. So we are going to put uh, a line right across there. This will also depend on how much vertical space you want to add width to. So don't worry too much about this as long as the part that you are adding width to is where you need to add width to. So I'm adding to horizontal lines here across my pattern piece just by dragging down from the, the scale at the top there. Essentially what we want to do is we want to cut on these two lines and get that center portion isolated so that we can then adjust it. So there is a couple ways you can do this and it's going to depend on how your pattern was created in, th in the digital form, if you are able to break it apart with nodes or not. So these vertical lines that I'm adding here, I need to separate the top horizontal line into three equal sections. Now once I have those three equal sections, I'm going to take the outer two and I'm going to move them out. So what I want to do is I want to add one inch of width across this portion that we've sectioned off of my sleeve head. So now what I did is I made some rectangles here, the size of that, you know, from the line to the edge of the arm, and then I added half an inch, and then I moved them out to line up with that arm so that they're half an inch past the current arm. So I know that's where I want my new sleeve line to be. And here's where I'm trying to break this apart. Sometimes it works, sometimes I end up swearing at the computer for longer than I would like to admit. Control Z or undo is my very best friend for all computer programming. Okay, so you can see here I am able to move this one out just using selecting those nodes in that section and then dragging them. You'll have to move your notches. Um, yeah, this does kind of come into play. It's not the hugest deal if you're not making a major, major adjustment. You just want to make sure that that sleeve head is going to fit into the arm side of your garment. 
So I'm using the node arrow here and just trying to select that node that intersects that line and break it apart there. Then I can just select that entire section and move it out. So you'll notice that the top of the sleeve head now gets a little bit wonky. We are going to try to fix that. I'm also going to bring in the uh, like a copy of the the old sleeve or the original sleeve to lay it over top and kind of compare it and that's actually how I'm going to end up d projecting it so that I can then cut it out using both the old and the new pieces. So you could try and select some nodes to push out here but things can get wonky really fast so unless you like actually know what you're doing unlike me i would suggest either just redrawing or you know eyeballing it once you cut it out so here's where i'm bringing in the original sleeve to compare them you'll notice that like below where we altered is kind of wonky too again just kind of like do your best to grade that or smooth that out when you're cutting out your fabric so I made the original a different color here so you can tell which is which, but it allows us to see that the sleeve head, the height has not changed, just the width and the length. So yes, it will be need a little bit more easing into the sleeve head. You, If it was a small-ish adjustment, like I would say up to an inch and a half, you should be able to ease that in. If it's a larger adjustment, then you'll have to either adjust the arm size well or have a gathered or pleated sleeve head. So here's where I'm talking about where I'll probably just where you could just you know eyeball this as you as you cut out your pattern piece or you can adjust it by just dragging portions of the line out another thing you could do is just make a straight line from your new underarm point down to the hem of the sleeve just keep in mind that that's not going to give you as much room throughout the sleeve So now I can measure and see that it's half an inch, give or take, on either side. That's giving me the extra inch across the entire sleeve head. And like I said, I'm going to project both of both the original sleeve and my adjusted sleeve so that when I am cutting my fabric, I can see where I need to grade and smooth. So I hope that made sense. If you have any extra questions that I didn't answer here, please leave me a comment down below and I will do my very best to answer them in a way that makes sense. But I find that just like seeing somebody else do it online is kind of the way that I learn best. So obviously other people probably feel the same way and I hope it was helpful. So here is how my bud shacket turned out. You guys have seen this already, but if you did miss that video, here is a little bit of footage of me in my bud shacket and uh, just for fun, my husband mooning me. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and sticking around to the end. If you did enjoy this content and you want to see more Inkscape or pa uh, projector videos, give this video a thumbs up so that I know that. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to stick around. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.